Welcome back friends to Surviving the Daily. I hope everyone is surviving well. So Amazon dropped off a couple items to me today and I want to make sure I got them to you as soon as possible because I believe the Cetivian here is time sensitive. At least that's what uh, Amazon would like to lead me to believe. So, But uh, I want to make sure that uh, you had a chance to get it if uh, you are at all interested. And if you're watching this in the future and it is not the price that I'm giving, then I apologize. But that is the nature of Amazon. Just keep an eye on it and maybe it will return to that price soon enough. But uh, there are four colorways. The, this is the only colorway that is for $14.99. The other three colorways are $29.99. But, uh, you know, even at the $29.99, I think they are worth it. But uh, if you're not familiar with Cetivian Knives, they are a budget blade or budget knife company. And... Uh, I don't believe they get the love that they deserve. They do make some decent quality knives at a great um, great price. But they are made in China, just so you know. But uh, let's take a look at it. We'll put the pen aside for now. We'll get to that in a moment, uh, momentarily. So I was not quite sure about the, uh, the colorway here when I was purchasing it. But uh, now that I've gotten it, it is uh, definitely grown on me. So as you can see, it is a JG10 handle. It is very textured and it does have that uh, odd design right there but that just feels like uh, it just conforms to the hand I, I really like that and um, kind of reminds me of a sail but uh, aside from that it is a, a D2 steel blade and I know I've been a little harsh on D2 steel lately but uh, this is priced accordingly it is a left hand and right hand carry it is tip up and it is a front flipper and uh, we have a fair amount of jumping right there uh, now it is a, a pretty stout clip right here, so that's might be a little difficult to get in and out of your pocket. As you can see, we do have the uh, uh, Jade uh, G10 spacer. But uh, let's take a flip, or do a flip. Ah, it is a beautiful looking knife right there. And for uh, $14.99, I mean, I, I, I'm still in love with this knife for $14.99. Uh, I told myself I wasn't going to be buying any blades under $30 or $40 uh, in near in near future and I saw this one and I just I had to give it a shot and I'm happy I did so there, there are uh, um, stainless steel ball bearings stainless steel liners they are milled out to uh, reduce weight I don't know if you can see that it is a pretty heavy uh, heavy boy it is weighing in at 4.93 ounces the uh, blade itself is measuring 3.43 inches and the handle is measuring 4.84 inches and it's going to give you a total overall length of 8.27 inches and I feel like I already need to wipe the blade off it has a nice looking knife for $14.99 so make sure you jump on that if you can. Now the uh, the screws are stainless steel. The uh, pocket clip is stainless steel, and uh, there's a full four finger knife there. It has a nice sharpening choil. Definitely pleased with this knife for fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. So the next item on the list, this is the Energel Premium Liquid gel pen uh, energel alloy so is gold barrel and uh, i picked this up for nine dollars and 99 cents you can uh pick up the uh the chrome or steel colored ones i think you get a two pack for twelve dollars and 99 cents but i saw this one and uh thought i'd give it a shot now this is regular price it's not a sale so just keep that in mind make sure you Put your sunglasses on right now because it's about to get real bright. Look at that knife. Uh, I keep calling it a knife. Look at that pen. <clears throat> so this comes in the uh, 0.7 millimeter uh, tip. It is a gold body. Uh, it is an aluminum alloy metal barrel. And according to uh, the website, it does have uh, real gold accents. It does take the uh, the lr7 refill sorry for that noise that's the typical uh, energel refill there so I, that's kind of 
that doesn't feel good screwing it on but the in, in hand it feels pretty decent i wish uh, these pen companies would tell us how much uh, these pens weigh but uh, they just don't seem to want to do that and of course i'm i'm just not gonna go out and buy a scale just to measure pens but uh nine dollars and 99 cents and it is a sharp looking pen kind of wish the uh, the branding wasn't so bold right there but and i apologize for the shaking of the camera that is the Energel alloy in gold accents for $9.99 very sharp looking pen and this is the Sativian ST132 I'm still in awe at the price of this, $14.99. So, check those two items out. I'll leave links down in the description for both. And as always, I appreciate everyone stopping in and checking out the video. I hope everyone's having a great day, and I will see you next time.